So when it comes to strategizing, I have so many freaking tips. <laughs> There's so many tips. First things first, you want to go about developing, building, and growing a business very, in a very organized fashion, right? You do not want to feel like you're all over the place from the very first day. So this is why I have shared in one of my courses called Productivity Perfection, my best tips, tricks, tools, and uh, apps and all kinds of things that helps me to stay on track. It has also helped the people who have purchased the course. It has helped our coaching clients. So that's the first tip is to make sure that you go about doing this like a real business. I feel like a lot of times because uh, online business is just that it's online. It's not something you could touch, taste, see, right? It's not a, a storefront business like my salon was that sometimes people don't really take it that seriously deep down. Um, they may not admit it or even realize it, but people do that. Also, they don't take it very seriously because there's not much skin in the game you have to put in many online businesses that you wanna start. I mean, if you wanna create a course, it doesn't cost much money for you to put it together. Uh, the, the videos that you create for the course modules come straight out of your brain, so that is free and to sit there and record the videos. Uh, you probably have a good enough camera on your phone. You could do that. Um, the only thing that you may end up paying for is like hosting, right? Where are you gonna house the actual course itself? Um, you may also be paying fees for like Stripe or whatever when people are um, purchasing your course and things like that. And you may need to pay for a little bit of outsourcing um, for any technical, aspects of putting your course together like getting it onto the platform that you want it housed on or marketing it now that the course is done uh but other than that you know th that's not much that's not much when you consider a lot of people have to put tens of thousands of dollars just to start the business every bis business is a risk and you don't know if it's going to be successful or not you don't know if it's going to be profitable or not you just have to put in your full effort to get a result um, you know, I had to put over $30,000, uh, investing into myself and into my business in order to start my salon. And it was a small salon, right? I have some friends of mine who are owners of a much bigger salon and spa. They had to put $250,000 of their own money into starting that salon, right? And, and to do that and know that it's a risk and be willing to do it anyway, most people aren't strong enough. They don't have a heart for that. They sitting up there like Red Fox, child. They ain't <laughs> Sanford and Son. They're not going to do that. Um, but you have to think about, is the risk uh, potentially worth it? Can you earn much more than you put out and invest it? So considering the fact that it's not much to invest, you know, again, some people don't take it very seriously. They're like, oh, well, I put in a couple hundred dollars and it didn't work, so I'm done, right? Oh my gosh, please don't be like that. <laughs> Another issue is a lot of times people, like I said in the in my reply to the comment, you know, a lot of times people start off an online business or a home business out of desperation. Something has happened, right? Something has come up, life has happened to them, and now they're in a position where they're like, I gotta do something fast. Oh, I heard about that online business stuff. Maybe I'll go start one of those bad boys and I'll be rich in 30 days or less. No. No, <laughs> this is not the way that things are going to go down. But um, even, even when it comes to network marketing, which I love because it helped to change my life, with network marketing, it's the same thing. The majority of people that come into it, if, if you wanted to know the, the reason why so many people aren't successful in network marketing, one is because statistically that's a global thing in any industry. But two, because with this industry in particular, people think that they can just come in here, say some magic words and get rich, right? It, it would be like if I thought I could make, you know, millions of dollars in basketball just by having one <laughs> or, or just by dribbling the basketball. That's not the way that, that's not the way that you're going to earn money in that industry. And so if I just go out there and attempt to dribble, I find I can't do it and I say, oh, this doesn't work for me then yeah, I'm never gonna earn any money. Is it basketball's fault? Is it the whole NBA's fault that I don't earn money? No, 
right? Is it destroying lives? <laughs> no, it is the fact that I did not take the time to learn the skill. And unfortunately, this industry runs rampant with people that do not take the time to learn the skill. They jump in, um, they try some things that normally they would not do, normally would not say. They'll go and do it anyway for the sake of earning money because they're desperate. So I highly advise that you never start any kind of business, including the ones that are low cost, just because you need money. What is best to do is get involved in a business before you need the money. So if you have a job or something and you don't love it, but it's paying the bills and you got a little left over, I would definitely set that money aside to get started in the business at that time because you never know if you know a pandemic hits you never know if something happens with that job or you get laid off or something and you don't want to wait until that happens to now want to start a business which requires money but now you don't have any more money because you just got laid off and you need some money you see so <laughs> there's a strategy right there is get yourself involved in a business before you need it now the next step is deciding on what kind of business you want to start me personally i love mlm and network marketing because it is an industry that is beyond fair everybody truly starts on the same playing field you don't need affirmative action inside of network marketing everybody starts on the same page it does not matter if you're black or white man woman or anything in between those things you get to start at the very beginning and where you go and how fast you get there depends on your ability to create results you get better at creating the results that get you paid when you grow your skills so that is what is hugely important here but you know people want to blame the industry they want to blame the company they want to blame the upline and so if you're somebody that doesn't know how to take responsibility for yourself and hold yourself accountable um don't get into network marketing <laughs> it takes a strong person with a very strong mindset to get in here commit and actually commit until you get that result right you have to keep going now there's also affiliate marketing which can be similar in a lot of respects to network marketing because you have a product that you didn't create yourself or a service um, that you're offering to others it's all about referring 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 but you need to have a strong enough reputation or build up enough trust with your audience that they trust you enough to make a decision based on what you recommend you have to have some influence some impact on how they think in terms of their decision making process but here's the here's where network marketing in my eyes wins against affiliate marketing is that not only do i get paid for everybody that i refer but also in network marketing if i can help other people learn the skills for them to be able to get paid referring people i get paid for that i get bonuses in affiliate marketing you don't really get that um maybe only to a certain extent to like one tier maybe two tiers right two levels of people and that's about it versus mlm in some cases it's unlimited unlimited the amount of people that you could get a match or a bonus on so I love that. Um, if you know anything about business, then you know one major key to success is leverage. And if you know about um, leverage, then you know why MLM makes so much sense, okay? I think um, when people say, I don't want an MLM, uh, they're saying they don't want it just for the sake of it being an MLM, but not really understanding the business model or understanding just how powerful it is and how financially free it can make you I'm gonna tell you right now, that was the main thing that put me in a financial position to be able to, you know, me and my family relocate across the country. And because we didn't have jobs, we did not have to reach out to people and, you know, reach out to a boss and put in a transfer request and hope that we get approved for that. Otherwise, we gotta stay there in DC. We can't go nowhere because of the job, because of the job. To me, I feel like if I were to have a job, it would feel like I was just stuck. It would feel like I don't have any control over my own life. I can't decide when I get up because I got to get up in time to be able to make it to work on time, right? I don't get to decide, you know, um, what I want to do with my day. They tell me what to do. Here's your assignment. Get this done. Send in this report. Do this project. Um, I don't get to enjoy what I'm doing. I may have a co-worker that gets on my last nerve, but guess what? I got to work with them because ain't nobody going nowhere, at least not yet. <laughs> so I'm stuck with them till they get a transfer or something, you know? 
So, you know, those things, and, and if I feel like I did a really good job and I should get rewarded for it, get a bonus for it, like I really put in my thousand percent and they don't pay me, right? And they have, they also have full control over my pay. At any moment, they could decide, you know what? We need to pay you less, we're downsizing. You're okay with that, right? Well, I can't say no because I would have to go and look for another job. So those kinds of things, just for me, you know, you, you start looking at the comparisons and yeah, you can really have some great freedom with uh, network marketing. I feel like it trumps everything else. Now with the affiliate marketing, I still love that. My husband and I actually have our own affiliate program inside of our uh, profitpreneur program. It's not just there for you to get your membership and learn, which is already great in and of itself, but it is also there for you to be able to earn money while you're learning the proper skills and practicing them with us. So I really like that. Um, but yeah, affiliate marketing is great. If you wanna be able to uh, refer people to stuff or offer them stuff that you know they could really use or they've been looking for, um, but maybe they didn't know about this. And because you didn't have to create a formula, create a recipe, you're just pointing people to the thing, that is always gonna be such a weight off of your shoulders, right? It's not like if I wanted to start a, a t-shirt business, I have to design and make all the t-shirts and then market them and sell them. I don't have to do that part with neither affiliate marketing nor network marketing. I can, you know, tap into someone else's t-shirt business and point people to that business. So that's really fun. Another thing about network marketing and affiliate marketing that I like is if it's something that you use yourself and you already like it yourself, I mean, everybody has something that they buy that they like. And typically you tell other people about it. We all do that. But where I think people are getting duped is that they don't get paid for it. I do. And now you will too if you take my tips and advice. If you follow me on this channel or better yet, get into our uh, community for just seven bucks a month. Because when you get it, when you, when you get to that understanding and then start building the skill around knowing how to share with people that you have something that you love and refer them to it because they said they want it or they're looking for it, you will get paid more and more money. I can't tell you how many people talk about their favorite restaurant, even show pictures of, they, of their meal on Instagram and stuff, Chef. They will talk about their favorite hairstylist. They will talk about their favorite nail technician. They will talk about their favorite outfits, name brand, their favorite purse, their favorite phone. They will talk about all of this stuff and never get paid. They will spend their whole lives talking about things that they love and never get paid. That last vacation they went on, they'll never get paid right their favorite blouse their favorite jewelry they'll never get paid because they're not like you they're not affiliate marketers or network marketers and then they get mad at us that we get paid for it and they're like that's a scam now you the scam <laughs> now another thing you could be looking into would be creating your own thing maybe you do want to create something but maybe it's not a tangible thing like t-shirts so knowledge is something that is very marketable something that you can sell so if you have a certain expertise in something or there's something that you know how to do with a certain flair that nobody else does, you can actually bottle that, put it on the show, market it, sell it, and you can make some really great income. There may be something that you have, a skill that you have, a talent that you have, some expertise or knowledge that you have. Maybe you know how to make an amazing chocolate cake. And you could actually market the recipe yourself. You ain't got to go and sell it on, you know, to no major conglomerate like Patti LaBelle did with her pies, okay? You can, <laughs> you could market something else. So if you know how to do something really well, then yeah, possibly creating your own recipe to market or your own course or, you know, membership or whatever, that might be the option for you. Your own ebook, you know, whatever. That could be an option for you. Because these days, practically everything is digital and people love the convenience of digital. So if you have a way to be able to deliver something digitally, people will love it. It also cuts your overhead costs way, way, way down and allows you to be able to get into profit mode easier and faster. So you need to be able to plan for that stuff. Next thing I would say would be to take it up another notch and possibly do coaching or a hybrid of course and coaching. 
So if you if you have an expertise in something that you know requires some time for a person to learn how to do, right? It's one thing to be able to give somebody a recipe and they, they can go and learn how to do that. But it's another thing if you're teaching them how to be a chef and they have to know how to taste for this and uh, how to put these ingredients together and all that kind of stuff. That takes more time. And that's where your coaching may come into play. You can do group coaching or one-on-one -on -one coaching. Doesn't matter, right? That's up to you. You can do what you choose. I've got pros and cons on each one. And I'll definitely make sure that there's a video available for you to check out about that, okay? So, you know, that's, that's that next step. Is you planning on in what way do I plan to earn money, right? And like I said, your monetization strategy doesn't just include the main offer, but you may have a front end offer or a lead flow offer, a back end offer or a down sell. There's so many different things that you want to make sure that you put into place so that no matter what happens, when you have an encounter with somebody that actually becomes your audience, your customer base, that you have something that best fits their needs at the time. Because when you're an entrepreneur, you serve others. You're not in it for just you. You're not in it for just the money. You are in it to actually serve and cater to other people's needs and help them solve their problems by offering them your offer as a solution, okay? So you have that. Now, when it comes to the, the strategy, again, inside the Profitpreneur Lab and Academy, or better yet, in our Elite Group Coaching Program, you'll start to learn about exactly what the proper strategy and system is for you to be able to grow the business based on any one of these four things. So if you're more of a network marketer, there are there's just one, <laughs> one major skill you need to learn that we split up into four mini skills um, that really groups together into the one big skill. If you learn this one skill, you will be able to be successful in network marketing, uh, affiliate marketing, and it definitely plays a huge role in your branding and your um, your marketing as well. So you might as well learn that skill whether you're in network marketing or not. Uh, when it comes to affiliate marketing, there's more than just those four mini skills. There is a little of that plus um, six major uh, pillars to success. So we teach you what those things are. A lot of folks talk about it on YouTube. So please know, once you are exposed to it and you see what the six pillars are, they may look familiar. You may have heard of them before, but it doesn't mean that you know it the way that we teach it. So you want to take your time going through it because we teach it in a completely different way. You, you ain't ready for this. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta jump in. So make sure that you walk into our program and you take the baggage off. All of the experiences that you've had in the past, you know, things that you've tried and maybe failed at, throw that away because it's a new day now that you're with us. And we need you to unlearn all the stuff that you were taught before and be ready to learn with us because we teach you how to grow your business in a very, you know, uh, upstanding way with some pride, dignity, self-respect and respect for others so that you can build your business authentically and with integrity and dignity. That's the way that I've always grown a business no matter what it's been. Now, when it comes to the course creation, membership creation, or the coaching, you need those six pillar skills, but then you will also need a few more because with um, marketing your own stuff, there's a little bit more things involved. You may need to do funnels, maybe a website, that depends. You may need to do some automation, and if you're doing automation, you gotta get the skill for that. So there's that, there's, um, if you plan to do uh, organic versus ads, you have to make that decision and then create a strategy around that. We help you to figure out how to do that, okay? Because everybody is going to be unique and different, right? And it, it depends on what it is that you're offering people. So when you do these things, when you create a solid strategy that you have in place, especially if you get help and mentoring by people who know what they're doing and been doing this for a long time, then that puts you in a much better position to be successful. It increases your odds, increases the probability that you will be successful and profitable, right? How long it takes depends on how fast you acquire and practice 
the skills to the point of proficiency. That is nothing a person would be able to guarantee, including me as much as I'd love to, okay? So that is how all of this works. I'm excited for you to take that next step. If you're not even, if you're still not sure <laughs> what you wanna do and how you wanna do it, if you need a little help with strategizing, I want you to at least get the $7 a month membership or if you upgrade into Academy, at the time that I'm recording this video, Academy is at a very special price for not 47 a month, but just 27 a month. And if you get it now, you will be grandfathered in to stay at 27, including if we happen to raise the price in the future. So you definitely want to grab that. For those of you that are brand spanking new, you know you need a little bit of hand holding. You want somebody to walk you through step by step and be there with you every step of the way, then you're probably going to want to get our group coaching. At the time I'm recording this, this is the last month. I'm recording this January of 2024. This is the last month that you get access to our group coaching at a way less than group coaching price. Under a hundred bucks, just $97 a month. After January, when February hits, the price is going up to $147 a month. Now, that's still a great deal for coaching, okay? So don't even try it, Chair. I will come over there and get you, okay? It's a very good price regardless, but why pay more when you can pay less? And again, you're grandfathered in. So even as the prices start to go up, you will always be at the $97 mark. Um, I can tell you that we're not stopping at $147. As the group coaching grows, the price will go up because of demand. Um, so if you missed me, you didn't get a chance to get in in January, get in while you can, while it's still 147. <laughs> That's uh, the pricing. Now, now, what do you get? Well, it help, we help you with, you know, creating a strategy, right? A roadmap designed specifically for you and what you're looking to do. Now we can't do that until we know what you want until we know where you have current knowledge and skills and talents, we don't know those things about you, right? You're watching me right now and I'm very happy that you are, but I wanna get to know you too. I wanna know like what you have going on, what you're looking to do um, for your business so that we can brainstorm together and come up with these ideas. Another thing that's great is when you have the memberships or the group coaching, it's on a month to month basis. If you decide, by the way, to get the annual, then you'll save a lot of money doing so, especially if you have the group coaching. Um, if you do the memberships for a year, you get two months free. If you do the group coaching for a year, you get four months for free. So that's pretty cool. So that's pretty much it. I really hope that this has helped you. And I wanted to do a very in-depth video about you know all the things <laughs> that is uh, a part of building a business that's actually going to be successful long term it's one thing to go out here and say anything including lie uh in order to get people to buy your stuff but that's only going to last for a moment right if you're saying scripted words and you don't really care about the person you don't want to get to know them and, and you just want them to buy so that you can get your money and pay your bills that's not sustainable it's not going to keep you and if that's what a person is looking for, then my husband and I are not going to be right for you. But if you're looking for a way to build a business honestly and build a business that will last, then yeah, you'll definitely want to connect with us. I've got all the information, um, all the links inside the description box. We are very happy to have you join our community on whatever level that you choose. Thank you so much. And I'll definitely see you in the next video because... You done already subscribe and click the bell for notifications to see the next video, right? I'll wait. No, I gotta go. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video too.